So, state of emergency in place. Let's take a look at how this situation has arisen. Well, it follows months of political turmoil and growing instability. In March, Musharraf tried to sack the Supreme Court's Chief Justice, Iftikhar Mohammed Chowdhury, but the move backfired when the court threw out misconduct charges against Chowdhury and he was reinstated. Well, in July, a week-long siege of the Red Mosque in Islamabad ended with a bloody battle and the deaths of 105 religious students during a raid by government forces. The attack on one of Pakistan's most sacred religious centres caused outrage in the country's tribal region. Well, more than 800 people have died in violence following the breakdown of a ceasefire with fighters in Waziristan. Patriot Act, Homeland Security, the Military Tribunals Act, and other legislations are all completely and entirely designed to destroy your civil liberties and limit your ability to fight back against what is coming. Currently in the United States, unannounced to most brainwashed Americans, your home can be searched without a warrant, without you being home, you can in turn be arrested with no charges revealed to you, detained indefinitely with no access to a lawyer, and legally tortured all under the suspicion that you might be a terrorist. It's time to wake up. The people in power go out of their way to make sure that you are perpetually misled and manipulated. The majority's perception of reality, especially in the political arena, is not their own. It is shrewdly imposed upon them without them even knowing it. For example, the public at large actually believes the invasion of Iraq is going badly as sectarian violence doesn't seem to stop. What the public fails to see is that the destabilization of Iraq is exactly what the people behind the government want. This war is to be sustained so the region can be divided up, domination of the oil maintained, continual profits reaped for the defense contractors, and most importantly, permanent military bases established to be used as a launching pad against other oil-bearing, non-conforming countries such as Iran and Syria. The last thing the men behind the curtain want is a conscious, informed public capable of critical thinking, which is why a continually fraudulent zeitgeist is output via religion, the mass media, and the educational system. They seek to keep you in a distracted, naive bubble, and they are doing a damn good job of it.
In 2005, an arrangement between Canada, Mexico, and the United States was made. This arrangement, unannounced to the public, unregulated by Congress, merges the United States, Mexico, and Canada into one entity, erasing all borders. It's called the North American Union, and you might want to ask yourself why you've never heard of this. In fact, there is only one mainstream reporter who's actually heard of and has had the courage to cover this issue. The Bush administration's open borders policy and its uh, decision to ignore the enforcement of this country's immigration laws is part of a broader agenda. President Bush signed a formal agreement that will end the United States as we know it. And he took the step without approval from either the U.S. Congress or the people of the United States. It's a deal that few have even heard of. It's being done again by very few people at the very top on behalf of the investment class, but the working class of people, uh, political officials across our country from communities, uh, from cities and so forth, they don't know anything about this. This isn't some trade agreement. It is a total removal of sovereignty from these countries, which will also result in a completely new currency called the Amero. The American Constitution will eventually be obsolete. You would think that a situation like this would be on the cover of every major newspaper. That is until you realize that the people who are behind this movement are the same people behind the mainstream media, and you are not told what you're not supposed to know. The North American Union is the same concept as the European Union, the African Union, and the soon-to-be Asian Union, and the same people are behind all of them. And when the time is right, the North American Union, the European Union, the African Union, and the Asian Union will be merged together forming the final stages of a plan these men have been working on for over 60 years. A one world government.